Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how can we create a link service and how can we create a data set with the parameterize, with the parameterization. Okay, so moving forward, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders. And here, if you can see, I have uploaded a couple of videos at a playlist of SQL, Spark, Go Language, Snowflake and so on. If you're interested and if you're liking my videos, go and watch it out and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So moving forward, I would like to uh, tell you what we are going to do today. So if I open my notepad, you can see we have an ADF. Okay, and then we create a link service of blob storage and then we create a data set with the parameters. So if I tell you we have a storage accounts. Okay, let's say we have a storage account of blob geek coders. Okay, here we have a two containers. If I go to containers option over here, we have two containers that is source and source two. Okay, uh, every container has some files, right? And if I go to this source two, here also we have some files. Now, what we need to do, we need to create, a, we need to create a lookup activity, okay? For an example, we need to create a lookup activity and what we will do, uh, uh, what we will do, uh, we have to you know fetch data from it. So in order to, in order to do like we have a one uh, one uh, you know one storage account, but we have a two uh, two containers. How would we create a single data set? So moving forward to the ADF, right now I do not have anything in the link service of uh, of uh, uh, storage account. So I will click on this plus new button. And I search for a storage account. If I go to this, I will choose Azure Blob Storage and go to Continue button. You can see we have this, and uh, we have a Azure Key Vault option over here. If I click, if I choose this Azure Key Vault option over here, then what we need to do, we need to okay. I will not choose Azure Key Vault option over here. I rather than I will choose Enter manually, okay, and I will pass the name of my uh, storage account that is Blob Geek Coders here but for the storage key i need to choose azure key vault because the storage account key is sensitive so what i have done i have go to this uh, blob geek coders and i have go to this access key option and you can uh, search you can click on show keys button and then you can uh, fetch the key of this storage account or we can say a container okay once and then what i have done i have created like we have this key vault so what I have done, I have go to this uh, secret option over here and I have saved my key in this blob secret. Okay, you can see over here. So what I will do, I will choose as Azure Key Vault option since we have created Azure Key Vault service, uh, link service here. So I can choose it and then we have to choose a secret. So since we have three secrets over here, I have to choose blob secret one because I have uh, pushed my key into this. And I always I have to we have to choose the latest version. So do a test connection. It should pass. And click on create button. It is done. And now what I will do, I will try to create a data set. So I will go to this new data set. I will choose again a storage account. And choose a CSV file format since I we have a CSV a CSV file present in the containers. That is done. Now here the thing is, you can see here we have one thing and uh, now, right now we have to parameterize it. So if you can see here we have an option of parameters. If I click on new, then here what we need to pass, we need to pass uh, a container name. Okay. And then I will create a new parameter with the name of file name. Okay. So once it is done, then what we can do, uh, go back to, okay, that is done go back to connection and you can see here we we can write down uh, some you know some dynamic content over here so if i go and check the parameters here it is pop up i will choose a container and in the file name i will choose a file parameter okay do a publish all now what I will do, I will go to this pipeline, click on new pipeline option and uh, 
I will search for lookup activity. So I, if I search for lookup activity, then you can see over here that we have an option of setting. Click on this and search for the links, I mean, data set what we created. So right now we have a data set of data, a delimited text. Okay. And if I, uh, if I want to run this, what I want to do, I will create a parameter over here. Let's say a container and then container one and file one. Okay. And if I go to this lookup activity and if I go to this container option over here and add dynamic content, then you can see we have an option of parameter. So I will pass container underscore one and here I can pass container uh, file underscore one. Okay. So once if I want to run this, run it. So let me publish uh, publish this thing first and then I will tell you. So my container name, sorry. Yeah, my container name is source. Okay. And the file name is testing. So what I will do, I let, let it be, let it done. That's done. If I click on debug button, then it will ask me a container one. Okay. So what I will do, I will uh, pass source here. And in the file name, I will pass testing dot CSV. If I click OK, then let's see what's happening. Let me refresh it. It will not take more time. That's failed. Let me see what is the issue. So if I click on uh, error message, the error message showing the required blob is missing container name source path testing csv okay i have given the path in a wrong way i mean i have given the file name so what i will do i will do again this testing dot dot csv let me do it again so i what it will do it will take those values from the runtime and it will go here it will go here and pass the value so since the uh, since the container underscore one value is source and the file name value is testing dot csv it will go here and fetch the records of what are the activity what we want to do that's done if i go here and check and tell you the first row is id and name and then we have these things okay so what i will do if i uh, click on input button then you can see we have passed source and testing.csv as a parameter. Okay, so that is done for today's video. I hope you have liked the video. If you do, do subscribe and share to my channel. Tata kiliye. Bye bye. Tada.